So, a minute that I heard the SLX DC was coming to the US, I had to find out which one is better, the Corrado DC or the SLX DC. Now, this reel was brand new until I dropped it in the parking lot. So other than that, it's a brand new reel out of the box, just like the SLX DC is as well. Brand new reel out of the box. If you saw my last video, you got my first impressions of casting this reel. Now we're gonna go head to head and let's see which one casts further in the exact same conditions, in the exact same rod with the exact same line and weight on it. So first off, here are the parameters for this test. I'm gonna make three casts with the SLX DC. It's gonna be set on setting three because for me that is the most efficient setting where I get the best casting distance out of it. Then once I'm done doing that with the SLX DC, I'm gonna repeat the exact same process with the Corrado DC also set on three. We're gonna see which one has the highest average casting distance in these conditions out of three casts. So first up, we're gonna throw the SLX. This is cast number one. Hold on, there's a lady walking her dogs. I'm gonna smack her in the head. Okay, the range is clear. Cast number one with the SLX DC. No backlash, gotta love it. Let's see just how far we cast it. Alrighty, first cast. We hit 195 feet, three inches. Not a bad cast. So first cast was better than my first time throwing this on three in the uh, unboxing product, you know, first look video I did just before this video. If you haven't seen that one, click up above, check that reel out, give it a gander. In that video, I go through all the details on the SLX DC so you know what this reel is all about other than what you're learning right here in this video which is how far can this thing cast and does it compare to the DC alrighty cast number two <laughs> little bit of backlash but honestly not that much nothing that's gonna hinder you when you're fishing. So let's go down range and let's see just how far I threw it. So right here, we are at 200 feet. Let's see how far we are. We are at roughly 203 feet roughly on that cast. Seems like the more I cast this reel, the further and further she goes. 203, 204 feet. That's pretty damn far, guys. It's reeled in, let's do number three. Cast number three. Okay, I threw a little harder. Do got a bit of a backlash but not terrible. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip this all off, reel it back in, and that way we can get an accurate measurement just how far this one went. All right, let's walk out there. Let's see just how far this one went. As you notice, that backlash was really quick and easy to get out. It didn't take me more than 10, 15 seconds, worst case, so. Still nice there that backlashes aren't as bad, even when you do backlash the DC reels. So let's see what this cast got us. 
we are at 190 feet three inches so not a bad average really when you think about it most guys can't cast 100 feet maybe 140 feet on average with an average bait caster that's all they're getting usually this is almost what two times as far absolutely incredible the distance that these dc reels get you so we're gonna rig up the corrado on that exact same rod that we're throwing this slux on let's see what the distance is like on the corrado so now it is time to test out the corrado dc now this is a brand new one out of the box hasn't been casted yet just like the slx was but as you see in the last video it did get a few casts straight out of the box that this one has not had. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the same exact amount of cast that the SLX had before doing the comparison to this guy, to the SLX. Now, if you want to see my original video on the Corrado DC and see what it threw straight out of the box, I'll put a link right up above to that video from uh, two years ago now. I think it was yeah it's been two years year two years i can't remember how long it's been it's been a while but i'll leave a link up above for the corrado dc reel so you can see the distance that that reel got fresh out of the box but i got my three cast in on the corrado dc we're going to turn her to number three and we're going to give her a whirl now the wind did just pick up a little bit so it may help it a little bit but we'll see how she does here in just a second cast number one little bit of loops not too bad just a little bit the one thing i can't stress enough to you guys is that this is not a 100 percent back backlash free reel but it does help you tremendously in reducing it to the point that it basically doesn't cause any delays in your fishing for the day so let's walk this one out let's see what the first cast is with this brand new cryo dc so as you can see it is a considerable amount of distance past 200 we're going to give it a quick pacing we'll estimate what this is so one two three four five six so that is roughly six yards past the 200 mark so six times three for those of us that suck at math are six twelve eighteen so that's 218 feet on the very first try on a brand new Corrado DC. This reel is throwing better than the one that I originally got to play with just before iCast when it came out. So it's gonna be interesting to see just how much further it is on the next two casts. Time for cast number two. That one was perfect. Let's see just how far this cast went. Okay, cast number two, we are over 200 feet. She's right there, so let's pace this off. We got one, two, three. So that's 200 feet plus three yards, three, six, nine. So that's 209 feet. First cast was 218. Man, Crowd DC putting on a show. But honestly, you think about it, the SLX was like 195, 199 average. I don't know what the math is. I'll put it up at the end of this video when I get home. Um, but jeez, both these reels are bombing this stuff out. Cast number three coming up. So. We're gonna reel in cast number two, and then we're gonna send her down range again for number three. A little bit of storm clouds starting to roll in, so I need to hurry up and get this for this wind makes it very unfair advantage for the Corrado, since it's blowing from behind me. Cast number three. A little bit of a backlash, but easy one to get out. Won't take much to get this one out at all. But backlashing with braid is never a fun thing to get out. All 
All right, let's walk this one out. So that was by far my furthest cast with the Corrado DC. Let's pace it off. Let's see how much farther, how much, wow, I can't speak. Let's see how far past 200 feet I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, this is gonna make me do math, isn't it? So three times four, four, uh, 12, 12, so it's two, carry the one. Yeah, math was never my strong suit in school, so forgive me, but pull up the calculator. That was 42, so that was 242 feet on a third and final cast. I did backlash it quite a bit, more than I have in the past, but I was really trying to send it. Did have a little bit of wind on my back, so it might have gave it a little bit of a boost. But definitely the Corral DC throwing his half ounce weight. We're over, over 200 feet every single cast on setting three. Wow. So on a head-to-head -head casting comp competition between these two, it's obvious that the Corrado DC wins out. Now, why is that? Really simple. This reel has four bearings. This reel has six bearings. The Corrado platform is a higher end platform than the SLX platform, but both are still very high quality reels. So which one is right for you? If you're like me, the guy that's on the water a lot or has been around the block, so to speak, in the fishing world, we tend to want to have really good gear no matter if we go out 100 times a year or 10 times a year or even more than that, we want to have the best of the best. So if you're that classification, you probably want to get yourself the Corrado DC. Now, if you're like most guys out there that, you know, might get out two to six times a month at best, don't spend the money on the Corrado. Get the SLX DC. That way you can afford to get a nice rod to go along with it and have it go a little bit further or maybe you need gas for the boat. Um, but both are an excellent, excellent choice for you to pick up. You won't lose either of them from just my initial testing here with the SLX DC. Feels like a solid, solid reel and quite honestly, feels better built than the original SLX. So I am very happy with just the way things changed on this reel. Um, but the Corrado is definitely the king out of these two reels. So let me know down in the comments which reel is right for you, the Corrado DC or the SLX DC. Both I would be happy to have in my boat today, tomorrow, 10 years from now. But for me, Slight Edge is gonna go to the Corrado and my personal taste and what I own in equipment. But the SLX, damn good reel. And you know what? If that's all I can afford to get, I'm gonna get the SLX as well. So let me know down below which one's right for you guys. And thanks for tuning in guys. Be sure you click down below, hit that red subscribe button and ding that notification bell. So every time I post a video, you get notified. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up as well. And as always, tight lines Happy casting, and we'll see you in the next video.